OK, Clive, let's uh, go through this again. You mentioned the walking fingers there. OK, notice, I mean, here, here we Cyril has gone right in there for the shoulder block. He's actually pressing down, but Clive's low back there, almost with the amphis combination. He's really pulling back. Cyril is still pumping down. He's just going to notice what Clive... Lord, look at that, the iceberg walk. Look at that, the fingers, they creep, they creep, they creep over five times getting his opponent right out onto his finger and from there all he's got to do is rack down he got it i do lots and lots of wrist curls because arm and stems from the end forearm bicep tricep shoulder and across the chest so i do plenty of wrist curls because the main and important factor is the end one message to the destroyer the iceberg will sink the destroyer left hand on the peg well, there we see for the first time tonight how important that leg position is. They really entwine themselves around the table there, don't they? Very important to get a nice, firm, secure position. The guy is well balanced, as in any martial arts. You've got to have that key. That balance is important, Peter. Look at that. A good hook there from the master himself, the ice ball. Hold the square. That's good. Now hold your position. Stand keeper. Ready. Go. Oh, oh. That's yes. strength. The Berg's gone right in there with a hook, but Cyril, the destroyer, he's still walking. He's pumping back tremendously. Yes, he's got it. Hey. Cyril Williams hits back, one apiece. Oh. And he looks pleased. Oh, what a hit. This is the sort of comeback. Let's look at that again. There, the iceberg gone straight in there with the wrist hook, pumping back. Notice what the destroyer has done. He's walked, the finger is going across there. Going right in, and from here, he's going to hit him. Look at that, he's still walking, getting everything there. Direct. Oh, that hurt. I'm either going to go for speed, or I'm going to go for the shoulder block. Now, the shoulder block means I'm going to come in very quickly with my shoulder and hold him in near the pad. The iceberg is a hard man to beat. He's the best at the game and he's the most respected man in the trade. So if I can even get a pin out of him tonight, I'll be very happy. He knows I'm going to be too hot for him, and I will know it tonight. Shoulder square, Red. Shoulder square. I'll check the elbows. I'll check the elbows. Elbows good. Elbows the referee good. obviously plays a big part in this sport because it's so vital, isn't it, to get them in the right position at the start. That's right, Peter. Very, very important. Just a fraction off not having the right grip. You can have it and get it with your opponent. It's so important to get a nice, good, firm, equal start and a nice grip. Look at that, the bird devastating. He's pulled the destroyer right out. Still walking back, still stretching back. Both men are stretched out, but the iceberg is still fighting. Look at that face. He's still going down. The destroyer is under pressure, but the bird's got it. The bird. Oh, well, that looked to take a bit out of him there, Clive. He, he just looked too well. The iceberg has got it. Absolutely fantastic, Peter. That's what the sport is all about. That was a great pin, wasn't it? Let's look, look at, at that this. again, because that went both ways, didn't it? And then that was sheer determination on the part of Clive Lloyd. That's right, Peter. You're perfectly right there in every sense. Look at that determination from Clive Lloyd. Although the destroyer's pumping and still fighting, but Clive Lloyd, he is so determined. He's not going to give it up here. He's not going to weaken. He's not melting. He's going right down. The destroyer is definitely under pressure. He's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we come to the really big guys, the super heavyweights, coming to the red side of the table. It's the Terminator, Stephen Ruark. The Cornishman going to bring the title back to the southwest. And now, to the blue side of the table, Fifi Trevor Loy. The European champion, number two in the world. Gentlemen, to the table, please. Well, Clive, this is one that's going to interest the uh, local fans here at Exeter. Southwest representative, the only one, Stephen Ruark there on red side, and a very big Cornishman. 
That's right, Peter. And I mean, Steve has really uh, made an effort here. He's traveled all the way to Coventry to qualify. He looks good. He actually gone through his man in Coventry. And yeah, but what about his opponent on blue side there? He's an incredible character, isn't he, Beefy Lloyd? Beefy is a great guy, but I remember taking take out. I mean, Steve, a very powerful man, and he's got the local crowd with him. Let's see what he's going to do here tonight, Peter. Now hold your position. Timekeeper, ready, go! Oh, Steve and Ruark pulling right from the word go here. Oh, my God, look at the expression of this man. They don't call him the beef for nothing. Steve seems to be in trouble. He's going around for a shoulder block and crank. He's cranked him. Well, I know a couple of uh, Coach Snowder's Crawley supporters have come here from uh, down there in Liscard tonight to support Stephen Ruark, and they won't be too happy about that start, Clive. Okay, let's see here again, as I say, I mean, Stevie is up against a very, very experienced man. Beefy's pulled out, but he's got a technique. He's hooking here with a, with a wrist hook, pulling Steven right out, all the way out. Stevie's pulling back. He's gone over for his shoulder block, and he's going to press and crank. Stephen, you are for my title. I am the main man to get. This is the beef, and this is the British flag. I'm the British champion. I want to kick you back home, boy. Hey, I am the man. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed to hope that Steve can come back here, equalize on his own home ground over more experienced man, Beefy Trevor Lloyd. So the UK Pro Grip Arm Wrestling Championships, the big boys, super heavies, red side, Stephen Ruark, blue side, Trevor Beefy Lloyd, one pin to him, this is the second. Okay, both men are hit there, but Steve seems to be having the advantage, Beefy's in trouble, Beefy's in trouble. Well, that's gone down well with the Southwest fans here at this packed theatre in Exeter, the North Cot. And if we see that again, we can see that that was sheer brute strength there That's on the part right, of Stephen Ruark. That's right, definitely, without a question. It seems to me like this man loves the strap too. Look at that. He's pumping down, he's giving Beefy trouble, and he's got it with the strap. I'm confident I can beat him. He's a European champion. I respect him for that much. But I'm very strong. I've been training very, very hard for it. And obviously I want to win for myself. He don't know what I'm like. He's frightened of me. I know he's frightened of me. He's been saying things on television. I will say, I'm going to come for him, and I'm going to beat him. Let's see if Steve is an equalizer. Let's see if Steve can come back here. Beefy looking confident. That's going to hold the position now. Timekeeper, ready, go. Okay, they're going again. Steve is still pulling out Beefy. He's going there. He's loading back on Steve. Steve is still pulling out. Look at that expression. An expression of determination and no losses. He's going down. He's still pumping. He's still pumping out, but Steve is holding on there. A brilliant match. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, you're uh, absolutely right there, Clive. A fantastic match. And Beefy, who came here, I know, determined to win. He certainly did it in that last pin. And he knows he had a good opponent there. That's right. But what a wonderful look. What a wonderful finish, Peter. There's both men embracing each other, saying to themselves, boy, you're good. And you can do it. You know, absolutely incredible. Look at this again. And here we go. Beefy, again, again, as I say, he's definitely determined here. Saying to himself, I'm not going to let a younger man beat me. Although he's having to see, uh, taken one. But I'm going to work here. And he is indeed working. Steve is definitely worth him work for this title. There's no question about that. He's got it. A great win then for Beefy Lloyd in the super heavyweight category. So, to the champion of champions, and this is how the draw came out for the semi-finals. Lightweight Tony Jure fighting Beefy Lloyd. Beefy Lloyd in blue, Tony Jure in red, and Clive Lloyd, the heavyweight champion in the red corner, up against middleweight Norman James in blue. Clive did as we, uh, we <laughs> thought it might. It's pitched the lightweight winner against the, the super heavies. Now, surely Beefy's got to win this. Well, Peter, I've seen upsets, but I really, truthfully, I mean, seeing the guys in here tonight, I, I've got to go for Beefy. Do you know if these two guys have met before? 
elbows in the cup. Not really, Peter, because again, they're two weight categories. This is my first, this is the first thing I'm actually doing here as champion of champion. This is the first one. Well, Beef is pulling in, isn't he? Yes, well, here we're talking about an upset here, on, Peter. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. The Beef is still pulling, but Jury is still holding. The Lunatic is holding. He's determined. The Beef is still going there, but the Lunatic is holding. The Beef is still pulling. This what a fight. It's incredible. Here we're talking about a small amount of holding Beef. Over 19 stone of him. Lunatic is still holding. Beef is pulling. That's a timeout. Let's just explain for viewers, because we haven't uh, hit that before, that there was a 30-second maximum on that first pin, and the person who's in the dominant position at the point of the bell wins. That is perfectly correct, Peter. Again, we're talking about a spectator sport here. Therefore, the man who moves into the direction of the touchpad on this occasion is beefy onto the blue side. He's got to be the winner after that 30 seconds duration. Let's do it now. Hold it there. Hold it. No. Let's see what's going to happen here, Peter. Oh, the I'm Get still going for Tony Jury. If he's giving BP so much Hold trouble in that first it. round, he could oh. well come back. Yes, he's got him. He's got him for a hit. Yes, he's got him for a hit. Then he's got it. Wow, what an upset. That is incredible. The I speed. think he caught him. Yeah, the speed did it there because Trevor was just settling down to pin two and he got him. That's right. Remembers on the word go to referees, pulled back, load back, and gone straight in there. Would you believe it? Brilliant match. Absolutely. Both men are so psyched, so keyed up, determined enough, and more so it's got to be determination on Antonio Jury's side, the lunatic over Trevor Lloyd. He is the man who seems to be sweating here. Don't move. Time, people. Ready? Go. Well, that's going one way, then the other. Mm. Uh, Beef is struggling. Yeah, he's doing it. Yes, he's got it. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, what an upset here. And that has delighted the crowd at the North Cup Theatre. Because you should have seen Tony Duray's face when the draw was made. And he cannot believe that. Absolutely incredible. Look at the determination on this man. Beefy is holding. He's the one who's in trouble. Tony Jury has gone right in there with a hook and he's constantly pumping down for a victory. Brilliant. So here we are, the second semi final, the champion of champions, Clive Lloyd, winner of the heavyweight division in red side. And then blue side, Norton Predator James. Three. Who won the middleweights? One. Wrestlers to the table. Referee Jock McKay. Bringing these uh, two fighters together. The, the winner, of course, will take on the incredible Tony Duray, who won that previous battle with Beefy Lloyd. I can't start the match until the elbows are in the cup. Notice that headgear Norman James, the predator, is wearing there. Okay, wrestling. Make him look like, look like a buccaneer there, Peter. Okay. These two guys have met Red. before, of course. The they have, Hold your position. because Dude. the weight class and the, the weight Dude. different here is so close, position. Peter, Dude. that they can go up hard down. One fall. Okay. Hold the Red. Okay. In the center. In the center. Slightly over. This way. That's good now. Hold. No. Hold your position there. Well, after Red. what happened in the That's last good. semi-final. Uh, well. Are you going to tip anybody, Clive? Ready. <laughs> well, no. I'll go for the iceberg. Look at that. He got it. Yeah. Straight away. Right. No missing. That's right. Iceberg. That's the speed technique the here. Weapon. Over the top of the iceberg. He's got it. Look at that. Over the top move. Whoop. Speed hit. I see what you mean about speed That's right. If you, that's right. If you blink, you miss it. That's right, Peter. You got to be well sight, well ready, well gear up, mind and body to go in. Three, two, one. Arm wrestlers to the table. Okay, Clive Roy back to the table, and we'll see here the uh, very unique leg position that Clive Lloyd adopts around the table. Okay. Right elbow in the cup. A Left great position, um, Peter. Really great position, giving them that good balance. Now don't take the left hand over peg again. Leave it on the peg. Elbow in the cup. Shoulder square red. Shoulder good square. leg. I want to see the red line. That's good. No, I want to see the red line. That's good. Hold your position. Blue. Shoulder square. Now hold your position. Timekeeper. Ready? Go! The bug has gone over. The Predator's got no chance. No. Yeah. Clive Lloyd, the winner, and he meant that, didn't he? 
That's right. That's right, Peter. Notice, notice how Clive Lloyd, the iceberg, hold that pin, making sure. Look at this. Let's just recap here. Look at Clive Lloyd. He goes right down the hole in that, and he actually hold that pin on that touch pad. He's trying to walk with his finger. The master is controlling that, loading back. Even give Tony a little bit. He's even laying back there. Look at that. Laying back to say, Tony, take it, but he can't. And the birds is well in control. The power alone is going to determine here, Peter. Yeah, Tony's saying, go on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he, he almost conceded that. Right, let's see if Duray can hit back here. He's confounded as before, but the iceberg looks in complete command of this one. Hold the square. Oh, get ready. Don't move. Blue. Hold your position. Wrist straight. Blue. One call. Wrist straight. A prayer to the heavens from Tony Duray. Hold your position. That's good. Now hold your position. Timekeeper. Ready? Go! Now yeah, then. Clive locks in there. That's right. Again, he, he, I, I think I think Tony's he's trying, but he knows for sure that he's still <laughs> pumping. A little smile is a... Let me have a go, you know. But the bird is in there. Look at that. He's even saying, you can't even take me from here. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was sheer arrogance on his part there. <laughs> he knew he had that. Brilliant. He knew he had that all the way along. Great fight, though, by Tony Duray. He's really made his name tonight. That's right, Peter. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Just one small replay. Tony's trying to walk in. The Berg doing something that he's never done before. He's sitting back and saying to Tony, try it from there. Tony, even he, he can. He's trying his best here. But the master, he knows he's in control. Tony's even going round for a shoulder block here. Clive is still more or less saying, there you are, I'm laying right back. You take it from me again. But after all, he can't. Look at that. Completely in an orthodox position that he'll never be at a hit. <laughs> so there we are, the winner then of the champion of champions here at the UK Pro Grip Arm Wrestling Championships, Clive Iceberg Lloyd. And the wrestlers rightly getting a big round of applause here at the Northcott Theatre as Clive Myers presents the winning certificates to Tony DeRay, who of course won the lightweight section, and then the ever-popular Beefy Lloyd. And of course, uh, won his title in the Super Heavies, Mansolita. And wasn't she a popular visitor here tonight to Exeter? And a good long chat with Clive. And finally to Norman James, who gets the certificate for winning the middleweight section here. A great night's entertainment in the UK Pro Grip Arm Wrestling Championships. So it's been a tremendous night of arm wrestling. Hope you've enjoyed it at home as much as we have here at the Northcott Theatre. All that we have to do now is to present this magnificent cup to the champion of champions. Presented, of course, by Clive Myers. Clive, it's been a great night, hasn't it? Absolutely fantastic, Mark. I can't believe it. I just hope those people out here are going to love what they see. Let's hope we see more arm wrestling on the telly in the near future. I'm sure from this performance tonight, if anyone don't want to see it, then something is wrong. Let's present the cup, Clive. Let's introduce once again the winner tonight, Clive the Iceberg Lloyd. Clive Lloyd with the cup. Hope you've enjoyed it. From the Northcott Theatre, from all of us here, a very good evening to you. What would it mean for you to, to win the championship and, and the overall champion of champions? Um, I'd be overwhelmed. Um, it's, it's something I've, I've gone from, um, from 15 years on, and, uh, in the end, I want to be the world champion the right arm, and this is just one stepping stone.